Yes, I think there would have been a collective sigh of relief across much of the country as we saw our Queen yesterday in fine form, actually, as she attended uh, quite an extravaganza at the Royal Windsor Horse Show mm. to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. Uh, and, of course, she was in her element there because she loves horses. There were 500 horses there, a 1,000 uh, performers, the star-studded cast, including Dame Helen Mirren and Catherine Jenkins, and naturally, of course, Tom Cruise, because when you think of the Queen, who automatically doesn't think of that yes. diminutive doyen of Hollywood? <laughs> yes. But she, she absolutely uh, loved, loved the occasion. And uh, the day before, when her daughter, Princess Anne, had seen it, she, t she said that uh, her mother was ab absolutely going to love it. And she got quite emotional about mm. it, actually. Yes. Yeah. This also re reaffirms this thing lots of people have been saying. She's not ill. She's old. Let's not forget she's 96 years old. She's in... You know, she's doing an incredible job, still working, still out and about. She's not obviously in a wheelchair, which there was some speculation she might do that. This almost lifts the uh, mood of the nation and helps us prepare for the celebrations we're going to have in a few weeks' time. That's exactly right. We have to remember the Queen is 96. Yes, she looks rather more frail than we're used to seeing her because we haven't seen her that much in, in a while. But a 96-year-old person who's got a who's not able to walk so well, is not in ill health. We mm. have to understand that. She's perfectly capable of fulfilling all of the functions of the crown, except for those, of course, that require lots of standing or walking. And so uh, this is a good sign, I think, just to, to hope that we may see her on the balcony and attending her service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. Yes, well, this is it. So, look, just before we move on to the slightly more negative elements, like the Prince William stuff, just, just fill us in on some of the order of events that we're going to get in these Jubilee celebrations coming up. So you mentioned St Paul's. Yes, so we've got on, on uh, the, the 2nd of June, we've got the uh, Troop in the Colour, which is the Queen's uh, official birthday celebration, which is going to have a six-minute fly pass, an extended oh. fly pass of the Royal Air Force, uh, including uh, planes that have been involved in, uh, in uh, many recent initiatives, but also the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight is quite a remarkable flight past on, on this occasion. And then we're going to have, after that, the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. There's going to be a, a, a party at the Palace concert with uh, various celebrities appearing there. And, of course, the big Jubilee lunch, which will be a huge party. And there will be, of course, we know more, more street parties taking place this year than they were for the Golden Jubilee or the Diamond Jubilee. So I think that's a great positive sign. Indeed, well, it definitely is. And just quickly, oh, before we move on. on, where, you know, you're an expert on these things, where is the place to be then? Because, as you mentioned, there's so many events taking place. Some people will be wondering, well, do I go down to London and enjoy everything that's going there? Or actually, should I stay local and enjoy the big street parties that might be happening? Well, again, it all depends on your abilities as, as well. But for me personally, I think there's nothing more iconic than being in the Mall and standing there to see the Queen come out onto the balcony. It's such a special moment. And to see the planes flying over, you'll have the red arrows with the red, white and blue uh, powder coming out, out. And it's really one of those memories that you will always remember. And if you have children, bring them, because they'll tell their grandchildren about the day yes. of the Queen.